This is a very interesting patient. Uh, they sustained an ankle fracture about a year ago. It was repaired. They did very well. However, they've since developed a loose screw with uh, potential infection in the plate. So we're going to remove it today. Here we are squeezing out the blood before we put the tourniquet up. You can see that we wrap the uh, foot and ankle with what's called an S-mark bandage. We then make the incision, ellipsing out the old uh, incision and scar tissue. And here you can see our incision as we uh, start to remove this ellipse of skin. Uh, the incision is actually uh, a little bit difficult because this scar tissue is so thick. The skin is actually scarred down to the plate and the screw. So after we remove that, we have to delicately free up the uh, underlying tissue to expose the plate and screws. Once the plate is isolated and the screws are identified, we then uh, start removing the screws. And you can see we use pretty standard technique, looks like a regular screwdriver to back out the screws. And uh, the majority of these screws came out very nicely. You can see they're removed without much difficulty at all. Um, however, as we started to get up into the plate, we started to encounter a screw that was not easy to remove. Here you can see that the uh, plate was free except for this one screw. The screw was actually stripped and uh, there was no way I was going to get that out with a screwdriver. So I did something which I've never done before and that is to uh, bend the plate and use the plate um, as a screwdriver and apply counter pressure to remove the screw. So here you can see I'm using my newly invented technique, uh, which I'd never seen before or done, to twist out the plate. Uh, it came out very nicely. Uh, then I started to inspect the wound and actually found a loose piece of bone that uh, was just sitting, um, sitting there under the plate. Um, and there was a, a small infection in here, which is why the bone was uh, in this situation. So I then went and cleaned up the bone, making sure that we removed any um, soft bone, anything that was not healthy, uh, irrigated it out, cleaned out the screw holes, and um, made sure that the bone was in the best position possible to heal. I then used these antibiotic beads that we mixed up. I put um, this special concoction, it's called an osteoset uh, bead and uh, you just mix it up and throw in your antibiotic powder and you actually um, create these little absorbable beads. You spread them on like, uh, like you're buttering a piece of toast and you can see the mold here. Um, you spread this um, solution uh, onto the mold, give it a little bit of time, it hardens, and then you free up the uh, little beads and they're ready to implant. After the beads are in the little bowl, um, you can see that we will implant these. I'll pack them into the wound where the screw holes were and in this area where that loose piece of bone was removed. This will treat the infection um, from the inside over the next few weeks as these beads start to uh, be broken down by the body. They'll dissolve and will be replaced by a hard bone um, within the um, bone uh, defect. After I uh, was pleased with the placement of all these beads, I had cleaned the wound, um, made sure that it looked uh, healthy. I then uh, closed the wound up, and here you can see our suturing technique where we uh, deeply close uh, the soft tissue over the bone, and then we go back for another layer of stitches where we are uh, repairing the skin. After the skin is closed, uh, we will uh, apply a dressing, and this patient will need the next few weeks to heal up. Here you can see that we're injecting a uh, local anesthetic. This is a numbing medication, so that, that will relieve their pain after the procedure. And this is the dressing that's betadine on a material called an adaptic that we cover the wound with um, to help keep it from sticking. Then the bandage is applied, 
and uh, like I said, the adaptic is underneath the bandage so it won't stick. And here you can see our before picture. That's the plate that was removed. And this is our after picture where you can see the plate has been removed. You can see a bit of a defect um, on the fibula and that is where that loose piece of bone um, was just sitting there. And that area we packed in with the antibiotic beads. Again, here's a side shot of the before picture with the plate and screws in the bone. And this is our after picture with the plate being removed.